Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about what you need to do if you need money quickly. So guys, listen, I don't promote get rich quick. I don't promote trying to find the easy path or trying to do things uh, or trying to take shortcuts or just trying to generally make things easier for yourself. However, if you are in a place where, let's say you don't have a skill, you don't have a degree, you don't have um, a desire to do a trade, you don't have a desire to go to school, or you don't have a, a an immediate desire to learn how to monetize yourself online, what can you do to make money so that you can you know save, you can invest, and you can kind of get ahead, right? Because right now we live in a time where 40 hours a week, right? Minimum wage is, is not cutting it for most people, right? And it's, it's totally understandable, you know, with insurance, with health insurance, with kids, with grocery, with everything, uh, just everything in general being, being difficult to, to manage, right? It's very overwhelming for a lot of people, but you know, for a lot of you young, uh, younger folks here watching this, I feel like there's something that you can value there's, there's a benefit that you can value from picking up another job, right? That's what we're going to talk about. So in my life, the past, so from December of 2022 to January of 2024, I worked two jobs. So I was working basically 60 to 80 hours a week. And in that time frame, actually from, yeah, so about December... December to December 22 to July of 2023, I worked seven months straight with no days off, not a single day off. Now, obviously I wasn't working both jobs every single day, but every single day I worked, whether it was three hours, whether it was six hours, whether it was 16 hours, whatever, any, any, anything in between, right? I worked seven, seven months straight, seven days a week, right? So did I like it? Not really. Was it was it fun at times? Yeah, because I felt a sense of hey, I'm I'm figuring things out. Even though it's it might not be the smartest way to to make money. It may not be the um, you know the 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 best for your health, right? When you're working 16 hours a day, seven days a week, you're gonna be tired, right? But I had the mentality that hey, man, I just moved out. I gotta figure it out. Let me go pick up another job, right? Because at the time. My my first job was giving me kind of some uh, pushback for working too much, like too much overtime. Our labor hours were were kind of crazy. So my my district supervisor was always on top of me. Hey man, you're working too much. You're working too much. So I said, you know what? To hell with you. I'm gonna get a second job. So I worked seven months straight, and then July I started to cut back a little bit, but I still worked the two jobs for that next six months. You know anywhere between 50 and 80 hours a week, right? And I did that for a year, right? So uh, I quit this past January, that second job. So I still have my first one. But what I can say is, you know, there's obviously more intelligent ways to make money. But like I said, for the most part, if you guys are just starting out, if you know, you're a kid, let's say you're anywhere between like 18 and 21, and you're just, you know, or even like anywhere between 18 and 25, really, right? Or, you know, sometimes older, but hey, mostly in between that age range, if you're really trying to just get an extra, you know, three to $500 a week, I don't think it's a bad idea to pick up another job, right? Now you can work for a moving company, you can bust tables, um, you know, you can do construction, you can do labor, whatever. I mean, I know, like I said, I know this stuff isn't fun. I know it's not uh, you know, it's a lot of these jobs are thankless, right? Meaning like you're not going to get praised for them, but Hey, guess what guys, you have to learn to suffer. You have to learn what well, one thing in life you have to learn is that, Hey, if I'm not willing to take an easier route, I have to take the difficult route, right? Like for example, right? If you don't want to go to school, okay. Understandable. You don't want to get a degree. You don't want to get an advanced degree. Totally cool. Totally understandable. You don't want to get a trade. Totally cool. Totally understandable. You don't want to go to the military. That's cool as well. But you got to figure out something, right? So those bills are coming in, right? You got your rent or, you know, you got your food bill, you got your insurance, you have utilities, you have all that good stuff, right? But hey, you're only working 40 hours a week and you don't want to do anything that requires you to, to have a, a certification or an advanced degree, right? So you got to figure it out, right? 
So a second job, like I said, you know, if you work a second job for a year or two, right? You save up, let's say maybe you save up in two years, you save up, you know, somewhere between 20 and $50,000. Hey, now you can quit that second job and still have some money left over to invest. Maybe out of that, let's say you save like 20,000. Maybe you invest 10,000, you buy some cheap crypto coins for this next bull market. Next thing you know, that $10,000 that you invested turns into $100,000. Now you really don't have to work that much, right? You might work, you know, your regular 40 hours, but hey, now I have $100,000 that I can kind of, that can basically buy me some time, right? Like, let's say, for example, you know, you work your two jobs for a year or two, you buy some crypto, and now you basically have, let's say, you know, this next bull cycle, you, you, you make like $100,000, right? You take that $100,000, and guess what? Let's say your yearly, if you calculate all your, your expenses, let's say you spend for the year between thirty dollars and $40,000. Well, hey, guess what? You have two years of living expenses right there, right? So you have $100,000, right? And you spend that money, right? Let's say 80,000 of it go over the next two years goes to your expenses, right? You still have an extra $20,000 that you can invest, that you can figure out other ways to make money. You can use that to, to, to leverage something else, right? But the point is, guys, is you have to, if you want to be successful, if you want to have, if you want to be ahead, if you want to figure out how to, how to do things, you have to have money to buy your time back, right? Because if you're working paycheck to paycheck every single week, like I read a stat, I read a, uh, something in this article or even like people just talk about it in general that between, I think it's like 60 and somewhere between 60 and 70% of Americans right now live paycheck to paycheck. There is absolutely no way in hell you're going to get ahead in any way, shape, or form, living paycheck to paycheck, right? And it's crazy, you know, I can't believe that people can actually sit there. If I if I had a paycheck to paycheck lifestyle, I would literally jump off a bridge. That would be like the first thing I would have to handle, the first thing I would have to address and tackle because if you're living paycheck to paycheck, sorry, <laughs> paycheck to paycheck, week to week, month to month, year to year, you're just working to fucking survive. You're in survival mode for your whole life. That's not fun. That's not, there's no, like, for example, like if I had that, I would, I would seriously commit. I would seriously consider like ending it because it's like, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, week to week, you're just barely scraping by. You're not even getting ahead. So the years are going by, right? And you're not even getting ahead, right? So in the back of your mind, right? Even though, hey, you might be surviving, you might have food on the table. You're just like a, you're, you're like a slave. You're like just an animal, right? You're just, eat, it's just like, you're just, you're just basically, and I'm not trying to sound crude when I say this, but you're basically just prolonging your life. That's all you're doing because you're not advancing. You're not, you're not growing. You're not uh, learning anything. You're not, um, you know, becoming more physically fit. You're not growing in any sense. You're not evolving. So what's the point to live, right? And that would be my mind. That would be my mindset, right? So guys, listen, if you're working 40 hours, that's cool. But here's the thing, 40 hours, unless you have an advanced degree and you're working 40 hours as a doctor, lawyer, engineer, making, you know, somewhere between a hundred thousand and three hundred thousand dollars a year, Guys, you're gonna have to work in your off time. You're gonna have to figure out what to do when you get home at, you know, like let's say you work seven to three from four to, to 10 o'clock at night. You're gonna have to figure out, hey, do I need to work a, a second job for a year or two to save some money to get ahead? Cool, if that's what I gotta do, I gotta take the beating. If I'm tired, so be it. You have to have a whatever it takes mentality. You can't just think in, in the short term, like how I'm gonna feel or how it's gonna affect me. Guys, I was willing, that whole year that I worked two jobs, I was willing to be tired. I was willing to feel pissed off. I was willing to to feel like I was missing out on, on maybe like going out or dating or, you know, let's say like my family asked me to come over. I was willing to miss out on those things because I knew that if I just committed, I would have enough money to invest, to buy certain things that were are going to make me money so that guess what? I don't have to work 80 hours a week for the rest of my life, Right. So guys, you really have to start thinking in terms of your future and where you want to go and what you can do right now 
to to prepare to uh, I'm sorry to actualize that that dream and in, in the future that you see for yourself, right? So, like I said, the easiest way to do that is hey, get in your car, go drive around, see who's hiring, pick up another job, preferably something with tips. That's why I say like a moving company or like a restaurant job can usually like do that well for you. But um, whatever, if you find something that pays more and that you you can you feel like you can do for you know somewhere between twenty and thirty hours a week, go ahead and do that. I'm not saying, and guys, here's, hear me out. I'm not saying that you have to do this forever, that this is like the best way to make money, but I'm saying it's the most simple and easiest way, right? Because like I said, a lot of you guys, myself included at the time, like I don't have any skills. I don't have any like, you know, at the time I didn't really have any like means, other means or way to make money, right? Like I didn't really, I don't think I, my car was able to register for like DoorDash or Uber, so I couldn't do that. So I had to work at a restaurant for like a year alongside my, my job as a, as a store manager. So basically I had to do all the bullshit, you know, from four to 10 o'clock at night. But I knew that, hey, if I just committed for a year, I'd have enough money to buy some assets that will eventually pay me off. So guess what? I buy my time back. Now I don't have to work 80 hours a week. Now I can work 40 hours a week and then come back here and work on this, right? Or work on my side hustle, work on flipping uh, games and, and, and gaming consoles, right? And make money that way, right? Don't have to, I don't have to deal with any bosses. I don't have to deal with, you know, annoying coworkers or, you know, annoying ass, empl uh, I'm sorry, uh, rude customers, right? I don't have to deal with that for the most part, right? Or sleepless nights, right? I'm from working 16 hours a day and I got to get up at 6 a.m. the next day. I don't have to do that anymore, right? So there's a lot of things that you have to sacrifice in the short term to, to, um, to actualize your future goal, the, 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 the dream life that you envision for yourself, right? Sometimes that means, hey, for a year, you got to do what you got to do. You got to sacrifice, you gotta, you're going you're to miss out on certain things, but hey, it's all for the good. It's all for the greater good for your life. So um, yeah, that's the easiest way to, to really get some extra money, start saving your money, and then for, you know, later on, invest so you don't have to do all that, that hard labor, long hours, and, and, and all that comes with that. So yeah, guys, um, that's it. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe, give it a like. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. As always, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.